Hi, and welcome to episode nine of Mind Planning Matters. Uh, again, I'm going to stick on the stochastics discussion, and we've started talking about the how of stochastics. In the last episode, we talked about what should we vary, uh, you know, in terms of production rates and those sorts of things. So we've spoken about what should we vary. For me, like, well, the next obvious question is which plan? Which plan should we run stochastics in? You know, in an ideal world in the long run, we might run it over all of them, but I'm always a bit of a fan of keep it simple and start small and work out what works and what doesn't and learn a bit along the way before you then sort of roll something out on a big scale. So I certainly would not start with every plan. I would start with one, prototype it, work out, uh, iron out the bugs and so on and run from there. Now most minds, you know, every mind's a little bit different, right? But most minds have something like a, what I would call the execution plan, which is a daily plan or a weekly plan, something like that. Maybe it's a fortnight. Then there's a plan that's something like a monthly plan or something. And then most minds have a 12 week or a 16 week or something like a quarterly plan. Then the next one is an annual budget. Uh, maybe that's one year, maybe that's two. Then a, a sort of a, a midterm plan, like a five year plan uh, or a three to five year and then a life of mine or 15 years or something like that. So there's a range of plans. And interestingly, when I spoke at the Deswick Users Conference about risk and stochastic scheduling and I was followed at that same conference by a couple of gentlemen from Deswick who actually ran through some examples, some case studies of the Deswick Variations tool. Uh, following those two presentations, there were a lot of people at the Users Conference who were very interested in stochastics. What I found fascinating was that the first thought that I heard from most of them was, gee, we should, we should run this over our life of mind plan. We, we, you know, that's where we should start. We should run this over our life of mind plan straight away. We could do that sort of fairly quickly and so on. And so it was interesting. There was this, uh, for me, a, a perception of this would be most useful and we should start in the life of mind space. And it's interesting because when I think about plans, and I must admit, I, I do have a bit of a bias when I'm thinking about and talking about mind plans towards the shorter, shorter term plans. I tend to think that, you know, I've, I guess I've thought for a long time that what I call that 12, 16 week up plan is the most important mind plan that you run. I think if you want to get one right, it's that one. That's the one that sets you up in the short term in your execution plan for success. It's those decisions that you make in that 12 to 16 week of plan about you know what you do, what you move, where, what you prioritize from a drill and blast point of view and all those sorts of things. They're what set you up for making your execution plan easy. You know, the other thing is, is I, always, uh, I always talk about inventories. I like to think of scheduling as about providing the right inventories. If you have the right material, uh, in the right place at the right time for the execution plan, planners to work with, then you make that execution planning uh, easy, easier, and more chance of success. So, so for me, I think that the 12 to 16 weeker is where I would start from a stochastics point of view, because I think that's where the most value is. And when I think about that 12 to 16 week plan, for me, that is, about decisions, it's about making the right decisions. And when I think about stochastics, stochastics is about learning things and therefore ultimately, you know, using those uh, things that you've learned from running stochastics to make decisions. And so I think they go together well, because, you know, in a, in a 12 week, you can run 100 simulations or whatever it is with different equipment rates and so on. And you can see what happens if this piece of equipment goes fast and this other one goes slow, what does that, you know, what problems does that cause? Where does my risk lie? And all those other sorts of things. And so for me, it helps you to make the right decisions in that 12 to 16 week of plan. And I also sort of tend to think, I always sort of tend to think of that as that's where the rubber hits the road, right? You can have the best two year plan, five year plan, whatever it is that you like but it's the execution plan is the one that you implement. And so that's the one that makes or loses you money there and then on the spot. And so you wanna make that execution plan easy and you do that by having a good 12 to 16 week of plan. 
I think there's a big difference in profit, profitability by having really quality 12 to 16 week plans and that comes out of stochastic scheduling. Uh, and then and then the other thing I always I think about with regard to long-term plans, life of mine plans and so on as well, is that there's actually already a lot of optimizers in that space. There's been a lot of work, I think, by software providers around creating good optimization algorithms that you run over life of mine plans that you know work out the best product to produce, what to mine where, when do you open up certain pits and all those other sorts of things. And so I think that the life of mine space uh, life of mine planning space is already covered fairly well in terms of the optimizers and so on that are out there and i don't think it's as important from a stochastics point of view as that shorter term so that's where i think we should start i think we should start in the short term i think we start simple with just one like the 12 to 16 weeker let's start simple in terms of that whole distribution side with just you know varying a couple of things we might not pick all the equipment initially we might just pick some of it and so on i think we start simple we work it out, we learn, and we go from there. Thanks for listening to Mind Planning Matters and my thoughts on mind planning. This podcast is for the benefit of the mining industry, and that's you. So I'd love to hear from you through the comments section, and please feel free to let me know any topics you'd like discussed in future episodes. You'll find much more content at our Insignia Mining website, and if you find any of our content valuable, please let your mining colleagues know so they can benefit as well.